In this segment, we'll take up the next sense organ that is gustatoreceptors. This is the third one. We have already discussed skin and olfaction. So this is gustatoreceptors. Gustatoreceptors are for taste. So this is basically taste receptors. Now we know that human beings are able to perceive four basic tastes. So these four basic tastes which we are able to perceive, they are actually perceived by these taste buds, that is these gustatoreceptors, but specific areas are able to perceive or detect a particular taste. So let us talk about this and then we'll draw the taste bud. So if this is the tongue, say we draw four tongue piece diagrams so that we are able to pinpoint which area has which taste buds or which particular type of taste is detected by which area. Say this is for sweet. Sweet taste is detected by the taste buds which are at the tip of the tongue. So this is the tongue that we have drawn and the tip of the tongue is able to detect the sweet taste. Now when we say sweet, which is that chemical which is stimulating these taste buds that we will see after we have understood the structure of the taste bud. Now coming to salty. So salty taste is detected by the sides and the anterior part of the tip. So this area is responsible for detection of salt or salty substance. Next is sour. Now in case of sour, in case of sour, the taste is detected by or the area which is able to detect it is the lateral margins. So here the taste buds are able to detect this one. And the last one is bitter. Bitter taste is detected by the back part of the tongue. So this is the area, the back part. This is the tip part, this is the back part. So the taste buds which are on the back side, they are able to detect bitter. So these are the four basic or primary tastes which we are able to perceive. Sweet by the tip, salty, sides. This is like the anterior side and the front also, the tip also. Sour is only the lateral margins and bitter is at the back. So these are the four areas of our tongue where we are able to perceive different tastes. Now, these gustatoreceptors or the actual cells which are helping us perceive these substances, they are located, they are known as gustatoreceptors or gustatory cells. They are located on the tongue, on the taste uh, or we can say papillae. Now, if this is the surface of the tongue, we find there are certain structures which are bulgy. These are known as papillae. There are three types of papillae which we have discussed in the structure of tongue in digestive system. When we were talking about digestion, then we have seen all these three types of taste papillae. On these taste papilla, say this is one, so here would be one taste bud, here would be one, here would be one. So one papilla may have up to 50 taste buds. And these taste buds, they are embedded in the epithelium of the tongue. So we are talking of now taste buds. Because these cells, they are assembled together to form a taste bud. In taste bud, there are two types of cells. One would be the sensory and the other would be the non-sensory which are supporting cells. So let us draw this diagram. Say this is the epithelium of the tongue and as we can see the shape it is normally oval shape so taste buds they are oval in this area there are two types of cells present 
the gustatory cells, the sensory, they are, so let us write here, gustatory or sensory cells. They are crescent shaped. So, one end, the other end narrow, in the middle they are slightly swollen. So, the shape of these cells is crescent like. In the middle there is a prominent nucleus. The tip part has stereocilia. So, here there are stereocilia and from the lower end arises the nerve fiber. These nerve fibers they join to form either facial or rather we can say facial and hypoglossal. So they would join facial and hypoglossal. These are the gustatory cells or the sensory cells and at the tip we have these stereocilia. Stereocilia. Stereocilia are non-motile and sensory. These are non-motile and sensory. So these are the sensory cells. Now, in between these cells are again tall cells which are supporting. So let us draw these tall cells here. These are also present here. Long cells. They do not have any stereocilia and no nerve fiber arising from them. They would also have their nuclei. But they are non-sensory. Their function is only to provide support to these sensory cells. So, in the taste bud, other cells which are called supporting cells. These gustatory cells, they are modified epithelial cells. They are modified epithelial cells. Now, this opening which we see at the front, we can make this opening slightly like this. Let us make it like this. So now, this epithelium is here. So this opening is known as the taste pore. There is no opening actually. It is just the arrangement. There is a narrow space from where the substances which we are able to taste, they would come here. Now, when we detect a taste, what exactly happens? It works, these uh, sensory cells, they are actually chemoreceptors. Now, when we eat something, that something is going to dissolve in saliva and now when that substance stimulates these stereocilia, that is when an impulse would be generated and it would be taken by the nerve fiber. So they are chemosensitive, they are chemosensory cells. Same as the sense of smell is detected, similarly smell of uh, or rather taste is also detected. So chemical, uh, whether it is olfaction or gustatory, they both are chemoreceptors. Now, which is that chemical that is going to stimulate so that we are able to differentiate into these tastes. If it is sweet, then the substances like sugars, dextrins, they, if they stimulate, a, sorry, dextrins, if these substances stimulate the cells, then the taste which is perceived is sweet. Let us come to salty. If it is sodium ions which are detected, then it is salty. Sour. If it is an acid, we know that acids are sour in taste. So if it is an acid, then the taste which we perceive is sour. And bitter, there are certain substances like caffeine, nicotine,
protein certain drugs they are they stimulate the taste buds and that is for bitterness so they are chemosensitive chemosensory cells so this is how the structure is now taste buds where are they located when we talk about taste the organ or the structure which comes to our mind is only tongue so we say that these taste buds are located on tongue but few taste buds are also located on soft palate and epiglottis and that is why many a times when we eat some tasty food instead of saying that the food was very tasty we also say that it was palatable because there are taste buds on the soft palate also though most of the taste buds are located on tongue but epiglottis and soft palate there also we have taste buds so this is the structure of the taste bud they are located on papillae which are present on the tongue each taste bud would have sensory cells which are gustatory cells these are modified epithelial cells they have stereocilia at its upper end and nerve fiber arising from its lower end there are supporting cells in between which are non sensory they do not help in perception of any sense and when substance dissolves in saliva and reaches up to the stereocilia which is that substance would decide how or which taste we detect so this is about gustatory receptors